Coach Mike Schaefer here. Coach, just a comment on tonight's game? Sure, I mean, uh, and congratulations to UNH. Uh, they obviously played a better hockey team. Uh, I thought they played very well against us. Um, you know, they did a tremendous job that, uh, you know, we knew going into the game that, uh, you know, we couldn't give them any offensive chances, but uh, um, they did a good job of generating. It was a, a big, big turning point right there at the minute to go in the, in the, in the uh, second period where it was 1-1 and, and uh, long delay as far as to find out. And, and you obviously could see quite clearly the puck went in the net uh, or went through the net. Uh, um, and uh, you know, getting out of period one one would have been uh, would have been awesome. But uh, you know, we uh, you know they capitalized on a turnover to, to make it to the two one game. And then the, the harder we pressed in the third, the more we gave up, and the more we gave up, the more they scored. And it was uh, it was a difficult night. But uh, a great job by Dickie Miller and his staff. But uh, you know, it was a frustrating way to end our season. But uh, um, you know, it said that uh, our, our players uh, had a very good year. Um, you know, just. Uh, wasn't there for us tonight. Mike uh, Tenshaw Mike, from the Schenectady Gazette. How much did that turning point take a lot out of you going into the third period? Well, I, 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 it t I, you know, anytime you get scored on, you give up the lead going into the third period. When you look at the statistics for every every hockey team at every level, you, you know, you go ahead and lead going into the third. Uh, you know, pretty good odds you're going to win the hockey game. And, you know, well-coached teams, and, you know, Dick does, they do a good job with their, their teams. So, you know, going into – from the standpoint of being down 2-1 that you're going to have to press the issue and they're a dangerous team to have to press the, press the issue against and and uh, you know so it, it's a, it's, a, it's a, a big turning point from that but you know I talked to our guys that mistake was just kind of a symptom of some of the turnovers that we made that were uncharacteristic but it's still like trying to come through the middle of the ice and uh, didn't follow our game plan a whole, a whole lot and then they capitalized on it uh, when we did. Coach Jason Clump, USCHO. Did you feel the way the game was called, the, the loose way it was called, that that negatively affected you as the team that most people obviously expect to be better on special teams? No, I don't think so. I don't think it was loose, loosely called at all. I mean, I thought it was. Uh, I thought both teams were pretty disciplined uh, throughout the course of the game. There were, I, you know, I think there was a whole lot of, uh, uh, you know, penalties to call in, in, in that game. I mean, that's just, you know, uh, the feeling I had. It, 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 so I didn't think it was loosely called at all. I thought. Both teams played fairly disciplined. Uh, they called the, you know, the contact they had that, that we had there in the third period, but uh, I don't think it was a problem at all. Coach Elliot Olshansky, NCAA.com. When you played these guys in January, uh, you know, even playing on, on the Olympic sheet, their, their speed didn't seem to give you as, as many problems. You were able to control the play for long stretches, cycle or change while cycling in their zone and uh, all sorts of things. What do you think changed uh, between between that game and tonight, what what about UNH gave you more problems tonight that wasn't so much of a problem in January? Well, any team is really fast. If you give them the puck when they're skating at you, they're pretty fast. And, and, and so turnovers is the biggest uh, uh, is the biggest area that every coach again at every level NHL, college, junior, high school you turn pucks over in the in the, in the neutral zone uh, against teams that they're they're going to capitalize and they're going to come right back at you. And we, and we did that. Uh, tonight, and, and so you, the two goals he scored, you know, the, the first one hit something over on the on the sideboard. One of our players, or he came right up to, I think it was the one that went through the net, might have been Butler. Uh, and then the second, we we take the tape to the guy in the middle. So uh, it wasn't so much the, the speed. I think it's one of the myths that, you know, we didn't get here by being a big slow. You know, everybody keeps writing about it, but you know, any team's fast when you turn it over. You know, it's. Uh, Teams can look pretty quick against them. And that's what we did tonight, that we didn't do against them at UNH. Uh, we didn't turn pucks over in, in the critical areas, and tonight we did. And they, I think they, they played better, and I don't think we played as well. Hey, Coach Brian Sullivan, you're a Scott Jock guy, mine. Um, you know, you, with, between turnovers and, and Ben, uh, ben Scrivens himself, you know, he just didn't look like yourself tonight. Uh, can, you, can you speak specifically on, on Ben's play tonight? Ben's been awesome for us all year long. I mean, uh, we left him out to hang and dry as a goaltender. Uh, he's a tremendous young guy who's had a tremendous career at Cornell. He's improved every every uh, every month since he's been here. And, and uh, you know, until we watch the video, I never really comment on our goaltenders. All I can tell you is that uh, he's one of the best uh, goaltenders that, that I've coached, and uh, he's had a tremendous career. Let's do questions for Colin only at this time. Colin Kenshaw from the Schenectady Gazette. I mean, how stunning is it for you guys to play a game like that with all those turnovers? That's not what we were used to seeing with Cornell hockey. 
Well, yeah, it's certainly surprising uh, the way obviously we've been playing. I mean, one of the things that obviously we've been talking about is you know how well we've been playing the last four games, the last uh, in the playoffs. Um, you know, but uh, it's it's happens. You know, someone's gonna win, someone's gonna lose. It's uh, you know, it's definitely kind of you know, it's hard to put into words. You know, some games you have it, some games you don't, and. Um, for the life of me, it's you know, one of those things I can't figure out why we didn't bring it tonight. And, um, you know, that's something that obviously we're going to have to deal with. And, uh, you know, that's all I can really say about that. James Bernhardt, WBBR Ithaca of Holland. In your opinion, what was the turning point in the game? Was it that first goal that as you viewed after a long time? Or was it that second goal that kind of took the wind out of your sails as you went to the second commission, trailing two to one after the meeting most of the game? I mean, that's a tough question to answer because, I mean, to be honest, I, I you could kind of feel in the second period, um, you know, the last 10 minutes, there was a lot more turnovers, uh, you know, that didn't, you know, kind of screw and failed us out. And, you know, to say that obviously, like, certain goals is, uh, you know, was the turning point, I, I think that's a little bit in, inaccurate. But, um, you know, going into the third period, you know, after, when you think about it, obviously we're up one nothing and then about five minutes left. You know, after five minutes, we're down 2-1. It, it is a bit of a shock, um, but you could really feel it, um, you know, kind of building up. So uh, I, I definitely would say that was probably the turning point. Anything else out there for Paul? All right, thank you. Coach, you want to stick around? Sure. And we'll open it back up for questions for Coach, Coach Schaefer. Mike, on the goal that was reviewed there, having to sit there and watch it time and again, knowing that that could possibly end down the street, what kind of effect do you think that had on the guys mentally? Well, it was pretty easy. They looked up on the big screen and saw it was a goal. Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, I just, it, it, you know, it's hard to sit there that we were taking so long. And I didn't think we were going to put controversial goals up on the big screen, but they kept replaying and replaying and replaying. It was a goal. I mean, it was, you could have made the call from the bench. We could have moved on. You know, it took, what, nine minutes to, to get things going. It was pretty easy to see, uh, you know, from, from the ice level that, that we could have moved on. That was the only, the only thing that I wish that we just got going a little bit more. I knew that they wanted to go, but if you looked at it, there's no way that the, you know, hit the back of the net. It was, it was clearing through the, through, through the net. Um, but it was, it was, as Colin said, you know, it, it's a, uh, it, it was just frustrating. Um, you know, part of our game plan tonight was to, you know, a lot of indirects down the board because it, it was very successful for us at UNH was to keep the puck out of the middle of the ice against them, and uh, a lot of soft chips. But you know, we just uh, couldn't help ourselves but try to look into the middle of the ice tonight, and, and that that was that was the second goal. And so that was just a symptom, you know, looking cross ice, um, you know, and, and uh, making that play when when you know indirect down the boards uh, was wide open for us. So. Um, it had no one to affect rather than we've just been, you know, you, you, accept, you, know, you knew it was in, you know, from that standpoint. It was just a long wait to, for them to come up and confirm it. Do a few more for Coach. Coach, anything, this game plan, anything to do with the fact that UNH had just about a two week layoff after losing the conference tournament, but they may be a step faster out there than when you saw them in January? No, I think you could twist that any way you want. I mean, two weeks off, I mean, if you walked in the game, half of people sitting would be saying, you know, two weeks layoff is a bad thing, and the other half would say it's a it's a good thing, and, and uh, it's all what you make of it. And, they, and then, you know, they came ready to play. I mean, uh, but at the same time, you know, we had a one nothing lead with you know three or four minutes to go, and, and uh, our guys this year have been pretty good at uh, taking care of that. We just weren't didn't do it tonight. Anything else for coach? All right, thanks, coach. Thank you.